Welcome back to Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. It's time to do some more district missions. But first, what do you think happens when this maxes out? It's gone from about 100 up to 170 while I've just been waiting here. It just keeps going. It most likely resets. I saw another display very similar to this in the lounge area. Except instead of counting up, it was counting down. And I watched it go all the way to zero. And when it did, it reset back at 999 and started counting down again. But this one's going up. I think it restarts back at zero. Fascinating. Let's watch it turn at 200. Oh, that's quality content. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so we have a freebie that we were given for a district mission. One that we don't have to unlock. I'm trying to figure out what the display means exactly. You see, there's a couple areas that look like they're not filled in with red. They just have a sort of like aligned appearance. Does that mean they're done? Is that like conquered territories or something? Because we already did Mesquite, Texas. The other two regions up there, well, I can't select anything in there. This one still has stuff left. This one also still has stuff left. Yeah, maybe that's conquered territories or something. Or districts. Alright, I think our free one is up here, isn't it? I looked up the person on the Enigma machine, and apparently they're, I, I think, in the Nuclear Bunker District, which sounds like where we already went to in Manhattan, but I guess it's different. Alright, yeah, let's go. Kill Claws Clinger. Blaskowitz, your target, Uber Commander Klaus Klinger, is somewhere inside the bunker. Get down there and erase that motherfucker. Grace out. Yeah, this is definitely the same bunker. We just come back in? I... Does that mean, like... Did the Uber Commander come in after I left, or...? Well, let's go for it. cheap, doesn't it? I mean, this is a level that I already didn't like very much, and now they're just completely reusing it. Entirely reusing it. I don't know, it feels a little meh. Because because it's that type of a mission, where it's like not very high quality and just reused, and I don't really feel like... I don't really feel like staying here long, so I'm not gonna go carefully through and like sneak or anything like that and carefully take out commanders. I think I'm just gonna run and gun. Let's just go for it. You just... Okay. Hmm. Didn't actually mean to do that. I don't know how much ammo left for these. Connection to steam has been lost. Okay. Fascinating. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, this thing. Yeah, never mind, that's terrible. Signal detected. Oh yeah, I found this gun somewhere, by the way. In one of the side rooms.
fire down at that thing. That's not the commander, that's just a commander. Shit. Alrighty then. Ooh. Wait, is that the crap gun? I think it's the crap gun. Oh no, never mind, sorry. Sorry I called you the crap gun, you're the beautiful gun. Come with me. Ah, there's the one, it's got a special color around it. Heal doggy, come here. Who said that? Sorry, doggy. See those moves? Uh oh. This is really actually, like, this weapon's amazing, but it's really ill-equipped for this. It's better for taking out a bunch of people and you kind of know they're coming and you can just wait for them. But since I'm trying to take out a commander specifically, they're going to keep sending reinforcements. I can't just bunker down and kill them as they come. I got to go after them and I move so slow and it's got such a long wind up and there's dogs that move super fast and it just doesn't work. I think I'm going to ditch it. Gnawing on me, I'm not a chew toy. Very close to them. Like, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Do I go up here? Back where I went originally? Okay. Hmm. Because it seems like they're on the other side. Wait, what is that? Constrictor harness? You can... That must be what I need to get to the other side. They force you to get it to get to the other side. So you actually get the other gadgets. I, I thought you picked one. That's the only one you got, and you never got the others. Okay. Well, interesting. Um. 
Yeah, let's start looking for some constricty places. Like, I think I'm supposed to get to the other side of this thing, so can I just, like, go on? Oh my god. Look at how covered in blood I am. Yeah, smooth work, Blazkowicz. See you back at base. There we go. Um, let's stay here. I'm just gonna look around and see if there's any, like, upgrade kits or anything like that. Any major things I'm missing here. Didn't find anything else, so I just head, headed back. Uh, let's do one more. Let's go with another one of the most expensive ones. Just because. I don't know if it matters. Go for Schlusser in Roswell, New Mexico, downtown. I just noticed that the district missions seem to have an indicator for what, the, for what kind of special stuff might be there. So if you look at it in the top left, it says Roswell Downtown District, and then there's three icons. The one on the right must be Toys for Max, and those are all off. I, I think they'd be lit up if they were actually, like, there. So they're all off, so there's no Toys for Max. The middle one, I don't know what that means. Some sort of... could be weapon upgrades, or could be, like, the Constrictor Harness. Some sort of, like... I don't know, equipment thing. And the one on the left, I don't know what that is. Obviously there's a command, a uber commander to kill. So that's not what that means, but it indicates the presence of some sort of a person or something? I don't know. Because if you look at another one, like Mesquite, Texas, you can see the left two ones are lit up. And for the one that we just did... Hmm... Maybe that indicates that I left some stuff behind, right? Like, maybe that means there's an upgrade kit or something that I could have found, plus... Plus, what is that person thing? What What is that? It can't be the Uber Commander, so I don't get it. Regardless, let's go to the downtown district. Oh... Okay, this is more interesting. So this is reuse of a place, which, you know, I guess can feel a little bit cheap, but this is a place that we really didn't get to explore very much at all. Okay, Blaskowitz. Your target, Uber Commander Jürgen Schlusser. Schlusser. Motherfucker. <laughs> is located in Species Mission Control under Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Now get in there and take him down. And do this one for me. Grace out. With pleasure, Grace. Yeah, this is an interesting place that I would like to explore more anyway, and this also gives me the opportunity to kill some fucking KKK members, which is pretty damn satisfying. So this one will take a bit slower. This one I actually want to explore. It's a very interesting set piece, and we kind of just had to walk through it. So any notes probably were already here before, but I might have missed some of them. One year until the Great Changeover Day. You can read this if you'd like. Actually, hmm. I'll, I'll read a part of this. A year from now, German will be the official spoken language of the American territories as the next step to secure the new American order. Thanks to our beloved Führer, the flawed and inferior English language will forever be replaced by a language that is not only much more elegant, but also significantly more efficient. All right, you can read the rest of that if you'd like. I don't know how stealthy I can be with robots around. I could throw an axe at him, but I don't, or a hatchet, but I don't think it would do much. Now we're some KKK asshole. I saw one around here just a minute ago. You in the back alley? There you are. What? Why did I get slow mo? Where did that come from? The only. Ooh. 
There's stuff behind there. Ah. Pitch black. Ooh. I think I'm gonna do it with this thing. I think that might actually work here. We are gonna have to deal with reinforcements from the commander, but... It's a very open structure. Hmm. Brand new vantage point. Ooh, look at the stars. Anyway, I never finished my previous thought. What the hell was my previous thought? Oh, yes, the slow-mo thing. I don't know where that came from, however... The only slow-mo I can think of is under contraptions for the... Constrictor harness. Or, what was it? Throw hatches and grenades with extreme velocity. Interesting. Yeah, quick draw. Slows down time when in weapon wheel. That's the only slowdown thing I can think of for the Battle Walker, but I've had that for a while. I don't think I even have this, do I? Maybe you... I don't know. I don't know if you get these or if I need to earn them or something. I'm a little bit confused about that, but either way, I'm not actually using the weapon wheel when I threw that thing, so I don't know what that's about. For the Constrictor Harness... Crawl into narrow spaces by approaching it while crouched. Okay, so this sounds like stuff that I must just get just for having the constrictor harness, because that's just the basic feature of it. Um, enemies will freeze in a horror when spotting player. Oh! That's what happened. They just froze in horror. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. I love that. Silent step. Regular movement is completely silent, and jumping and sprinting make less noise. Nice. Okay. I think I might just get to the end of the street up here and just start lasering them down. Oh, and I have the um, perk where I need to get kills from on the Battle Walker, so let's do it from a very high vantage point. about fighting that thing. Is there a recharge station somewhere around here? Uh, I'm gonna leave that there while I look for a recharge station. Like maybe inside the store? Can I get in here? I don't think I can. Shit. I think I'm gonna run for it. Ooh, like a record place or a recording place, I mean. Alright, well, I gotta move. Shit, I need in there. How do I get in there? I need in the diner. Uh. Oh, that is so creepy. You shouldn't fit in there. That's weird. Anybody? 
anybody down here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They got one of those one kill, one hit, one kill guns. Oh, hold on. Mark River. Hey, what's up? Ah. Hold on. Alexander Tech. Motherfucker, all up in special shit. Grace out. Pleasure to do it. Where the hell's the body? I don't even see the body. Did the body just explode from the grenades? It might have. Because there's the death card, which I think is usually on the body. Huh. Okay, so we didn't get to explore this basement at all, right? I think we only saw it in a cutscene, which means if there's anything to read down here, then it's all new. Gonna have to do it while we hear that stomping outside. Let's see. Civilian cars. As represented by a gold wheel. Or tire, rather. Super Specious Letter. Grace. If you're reading this, it probably means I've kicked the bucket. Hell, I knew I wouldn't last long on this earth. The man will always want me gone. It's just how the man works, Nazi, human, or otherwise. But I want you to know this, Grace. I've loved you since the day I first laid eyes on you in FBI lockup. I know you don't believe in the whole mommy-daddy nuclear family thing, and I get where you're coming from. Don't want to argue about it. Since I'm dead, I guess you were right. I'll just say that our child was born out of love, and you're just going to have to love her for both of us from now on. I don't ask for anything else but for you to love Abby every day with every fiber of your being for as long as you can. Do that for me. Yours, Super Spesh. Hey, Blaskowitz. Thanks for finding the letter from Super Spesh. I miss that crazy motherfucker. That's all. Grace out. Martians in Roswell? You can read that if you'd like. Grab that. Yes, weapon upgrade! Alright, let's get the magnum for the pistol so I can have both a suppressor and a magnum. I want to see what that's like. Let's see. Can be turned on and off. Doesn't actually look any different, weirdly enough. So there's the magnum. Oh yeah, it definitely sounds a lot harder. It just sounds like a like a bigger bullet. Yeah, so we'll see how that is during stealth. It doesn't sound like it'd be too loud with a suppressor on. I think it'll be fine. Looks like they've got an Oculus Rift on. That scared him away. Unbreakable glass. Just that sort of diner. Should I shoot him? I mean, I can get more of him. Oh, what the hell? Where did I just get shot from? Ooh, we can be stealthy now. They don't know I'm here. Wait. Oh. Yeah, maybe with that thing there, I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I, I just left. So it looks like, yeah, you do kind of like take out the region, and I think that's why it kind of disappears. You sort of take out the region? The thing is, there is another one here at Roswell, so I'm not done with it. It's the underground district. Maybe that'll take out more of the the west coast of the US. So 
Does this tell me that I've left anything behind? Maybe it doesn't because the gear thing is still lit up. Even though I found the weapon upgrade. So maybe that doesn't indicate that there's a weapon upgrade? Because I was thinking that maybe I should go back to Mesquite. At the film set because there's a gear there. Maybe I missed an upgrade. But I guess that doesn't necessarily indicate that. Indicate? Indicate. Alright, well, I think we're done with those for now. I'll go back to those in a little bit. Oh, William. Grace! Grace! This motherfucker, don't wait, Abby, or I'll break your idiot neck. I got you, then a warrantless dossier. I'm sorry. It's just that it took me hours to put her down. Okay, let's roll. In other news, the Minister of Public Security, General Engel, has resolved to clean up the streets of America from, quote, all criminal and terrorist elements. Der Terroranstalter Roosevelt war ein Weckruf für das amerikanische Volk. Wir sind bei den Nachbarn nicht so sicher, wie wir glauben. Later tonight, we interview Lady Helene herself about the upcoming movie, the most expensive in cinematic history, chronicling the hunt and capture of terror villains. We will ask director Lady Helene the most pressing question of all. Who will play Terror Billy? Can any actor truly channel the pure evil of one of history's greatest mass murderers? The helm. Five minutes. My brothers and sisters. For a long time, I heard through the grapevine about this resistance leader named Horton. Horton? Horton. Ton. Yeah? Windowsill. Umbrella. Horton. Horton and his crew are holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of resistance all over the U.S. So, Blazkowicz, I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause. You dig? Now, it ain't gonna be easy. The Nazis built this great fucking wall around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them. Because we got something else. Sorry, did you need this boat? Yes, motherfucker. Hey. Anya, tell me what to shoot, Grace. You and Wyatt will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. really curious what this place is going to be like. Huge wall built around New Orleans. Also, something that I learned from that cutscene is why it is definitely still on the acid, undoubtedly. I'm also thinking of the scene with Sigrun de Bombate. I mean, obviously it was a comedic scene, which sets me a little bit on edge because I'm hyper aware of fat characters being made to be comedic and obviously she is being treated as a comedic character however she's not being uh, her fatness i don't think is being used so far as part of the 
comedy, I don't think. I'm not getting that feeling. So, I think I feel okay about it. Well, I think I'll end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out New Orleans.